Now here tonight at 6, there is an effort underway to change the way your drinking water is managed across Kentucky. House Bill 141 would give local governments the authority to decide whether or not to add fluoride to our water system. A process has been mandated in Kentucky now for decades. Senior reporter Isaiah Kim Martinez and photojournalist Jessica Farley are reporting from Grayson County. Well, the before and after process is really incredible to see for yourself. Check it out. You see the water as it comes out of the river versus the crystal clear version that eventually gets sent out to your homes. But officials here in Grayson County want one part of the post treatment process to be taken out altogether. So we had uh, chemicals on the pre side. James Hale is the operations manager at Grayson County's water treatment plant. So it's about a four part process. Yeah, take. yeah, four part. He represents one of several counties that wrote letters to Frankfurt, voicing support for House Bill 141. It would give the green light to local governments to decide whether to add fluoride to its tap water system. Supporters suggest the dental upside isn't worth its potential harm. Kentucky has been um, adding fluoride to the water since I believe it was 1954, and we ranked nearly dead last in dental health in the country. So to me, that says that that isn't helping the problem. You know, there's there needs to be another way to do that. According to the United Health Foundation, Kentucky ranks first in the U.S. for water fluoridation. Almost every single county in the state has fluoride in its water. It absolutely is working, and if we remove it, we will see how much it was working, and we don't want to see that. Dental experts have sworn by the process for decades as a proven way to prevent teeth decay and disease. But some studies have pointed to higher levels of fluoride intake for young kids being harmful for early brain development. Dental hygienist Jennifer Harrison warns that doing away with the mandate would be dangerous. We just have a real lack of access for children already. So to increase decay and remove this protection would be really detrimental to the workforce. Then there's the cost factor. Grayson County paying around $5,000 a year to add fluoride to the water. Payments Hale believes. You know, if they told me today that I could shut it off, I would. Their residents would be better off not making. Isaiah Kim Martinez, WHAS 11 on your side. The CDC reports that drinking fluoridated water reduces cavities by about 25% saving money for families and the health care system in the end. This bill has passed through a committee in Frankfurt and is awaiting a full vote in the Kentucky House.